So the first thing you want to do, and there's many other videos that go into more detail. Ah, it's a little brittle. I hope that's not why it was on sale, but we'll see. Let's work into it. Oh, I'm gonna have to take it off. But. What the? Guys, I know, I'm sorry. Welcome to Creativity Incorporated. I know there was no introduction video. Um, my name is Diana and if you're new here, uh, welcome. This is not how we usually do things around here. I usually have an introduction video, but I have no idea what happened to it. I have been recording this um, idea project for a few weeks now, so it might've got deleted by accident or something. But um, uh, today's book is all about the conquistadores. They're out of Spain and they, they were around in 1588. It was a, um, a, an attempt from Spain to conquer uh, part of Europe, I think it was. <clears throat> and so um, I just like the aesthetics and the shapes and the, the whole, you know, our Armada kind of style. So I wanted to do a book that looked like had metal in the front of it and this is my attempt to do that so I made a design on a piece of paper and what I'm doing here is just putting the polymer clay when um this is oven baked uh clay and I'm kind of just putting the clay as I go on the design of the clay I'm putting little by little so I can keep up with the design I am, I, I can just pop this up. Well, I did pop it up out of the paper after it was, after it was done. And I just put it in the oven and it worked just fine. So, I mean, if you don't have a glass to do this on top of, a piece of paper would work just as good. I went in with the basic layer of clay just to go on top of my design. Then I built up a little, a uh, little bit on top of that. My, my veils or sails are, uh, loose they're not attached to it and I just felt like I wanted a little bit of flexibility just when I put it on the book because it has corners and I don't know how big or how eccentric I'm going to end up doing them so I want to give me some wiggle room on the on those sticks of the sails and so I didn't they were not attached to the design or to the main boat of the idea so that's why you see me playing around with them after they're baked in the oven I put two coats of black uh, chalk paint, which I use just as gesso or like a primer, and it works just great. Okay, so um, on the design, the co each corner is different, right? I'm gonna see if I clean it up and I can uh, uh, upload it to the, the patrons page. Um, but anyways, on the corner, I think I wanna do layers. So I did, um, for example, I did this one. This is a crown. And I kind of did the sh basic shape. I, I think I can paint on the details. But let's just take this one, right? <clears throat> and what I want to do is bring in layers. So this is the bottom layer. And then I put like a um, second layer. And then I'm putting the third layer, which is the circle or the medallion or whatever. And then I put like a third, I don't know if you can see right there, a third little, I try to do a zoom on the camera, but I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Like a little extra detail. So it's kind of look at three dimensional. And then this is gonna go up like this. So I know I started painting it and I'm gonna paint all of them together as well. <clears throat> so I wanna do this for every corner and I've cut all of my pieces here. And this is a uh, package packaging. So it's like boxes and like, um, I think this was a chocolate box, but I like to, I keep the boxes that I notice have white inside. 
just because it's easier for me to like write on it, draw on it, and design it and stuff like that. So anyway, so let me put them all together and then let me get back to you. I have um, attached them all. And so now what I want to do, see they're right here. What I want to do is I have this balsa wood <clears throat> and I want to add like a, not a fourth layer, but like a little frame around it like this, so like this. And so I'm just going to cut it to shape it and I'm going to, give this out a little bit more so it looks like it's like a you see that there's steps i'm gonna do it like a fourth third step sorry and on this side i'm just gonna do it to the to where it ends like right there okay so i thought that the negative space here or that flat space looked a little boring. I want it, I want to simulate, uh, obviously like gold or, bra or brass, like something that's been hammered. So I wanted to give it like that texture of hammer, hammering or whatever. And so I thought I'd want it like that. And so I'm using this. And then uh, pretty much what I'm just doing is, um, uh, like bring that texture so like i'll squeeze a little bit and then um there see like i do that wait can you see that the glare works sometimes huh sometimes we fight the glare but sometimes the glare is useful see like that so see now it has like a texture and when I go and put the paint on it's gonna have that beautiful hammer look texture I think well I'm hoping <laughs> look see the difference between like textured and not textured okay another detail that I wanted to add I have this filament that is uh, from a 3D printer. My son uh, was cleaning his 3D printer and he had a lot of like of these left over. And so I noticed that it, it kind of shapes kind of easy without breaking. So I shaped it to the shape of the last circle that I glued on the, on top of the, like the, the little corner thing. So <clears throat> if you need to heat it, it's since it's, you know, heatable, you could also heat it to the circle, but in this case, it was easy to, for me to shape it in this way. And all I'm doing is I'm using super glue and glued it there. But I did struggle because, you know, super glue is meant to actually glue skin. It's formula is specifically to glue your skin. So if you ever wondered why it glues like your skin so good and sometimes whatever you're working on doesn't glue it so good is because its formula is made to do glue like if you know the history of glue it's to it was built or made for um the battle the combat like if, when uh, soldiers would get wounded the glue was to made made to be on skin and so it's just so, like an easy repair to you know to help the soldiers in battle that's why it's so good to glue your skin. <laughs> I mean, I just found that out. I found that so interesting because it glues um, my fingers and not my project most of the time. But anyways, so I felt like uh, I needed something on the circle and I feel like this was the seal. It, it just made it all better. Okay, then my great idea. I don't know. Uh, I promise that... When I started this video, it was one thing, and then as it's evolving, is another. That's why I think it took me longer than other videos, just because it the idea kept evolving in my head, evolving. Sorry, um, and it, I just had to like do it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those times that you're like, well, what if I do this, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna add this, and I'm gonna add that, and I kept on doing it, and it was just like and that's why it took me longer than usual. And I apologize for that. But um, so what I'm going to do is I put um, 
<clears throat> casting resin and this one's from Hobby Lobby so uh, you've been in this channel before in any of my videos well not any but a few of my videos I use ca uh, resin and this one's um, finicky like it's very like if you don't mix it well if you don't put like almost to exact half and half it will take a long time so if you can avoid to buy Hobby Lobby brand I would recommend not to buy Hobby Lobby brand. Although I love to buy it at Hobby Lobby, but it's just their brand. Like you can buy other brands at Hobby Lobby, but I, this time I picked their brand, thinking that it was gonna be you know the same or better because it was a little cheaper. But it, no, do not buy this brand. I'm using it because I know how special it is, and so like I try to be careful. And even then, it took a, like longer than usual to dry up. Even though I try to do exactly half and half, so. Those are the little things that you just have to be really careful about because then if you have dogs like me, the next morning you'll come back to a f like a book full of fur all over your casting. But anyways, um, so mix it really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of silver. Oh, another thing. I don't know if you noticed, but that little blue ring, I had painted it black. Then I painted it this like... I think it's gunmetal black or gunmetal gray. One of those two, but it's gunmetal. And it's it's um it's like a pewter kind of color. And I really like it because it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to mix it, but not mix it well. I want those like streaks and lines to come out in, um, in my pores. So I'm going to put a little bit of it in. You see those little streaks and how it looks so interesting. I want that in my, in my, inside of my circle. But here's the thing. You know how sometimes mistakes are awesome? So you see me, I'm like over pouring. Like I'm, I couldn't, I can't like, for some reason, some way, somehow, I just keep on over pouring. And it's like embarrassing and ridiculous. And I was going to edit this part out. But something amazing happened out of it. Do you see how on the one on the bottom, on that cross, like it's spewing over to the bottom? of the square um as i attempt to clean that up i noticed that i liked how it's looking on my bottom and i end up leaving it as to the centerpiece i the bottom of the boat or the water is an anchor so i wanted the stick of the anchor or i don't know what it I'm sorry, I don't know what else it would be called, but like, you know how the anchor is kind of like a T? So I wanted that stick of the anchor uh, somehow in there. And I also felt like now there was a need to kind of like encase it, sort of like I've been encasing all the circles. Sorry, my dogs are fighting under me and I cannot stop them. And I've kicked them out and they I can still hear them, so I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so, um... I, I done that like a little like a um, frame sort of around my boat and the whole thing and used it also to secure the stick of the anchor so that I can also put that um, resin on there so that it could be a, sort of like a matching set you know and so um, I start gluing little by little playing with the 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 sticks and I'm so glad I did it because imagine if I would have glued that one um, stick uh, for the front of the boat like the sail thing um, I think that it would have been it would have I, I mean I just really like that I baked everything separately because I was able to f adjust it and glue it as I felt needed and it was I, I just think it worked out really really good for for this whole thing and you know, looking at it later, and you know, as I'm editing, <clears throat> I at first I wasn't too sure about the anchor, you know, the anchor stick. But now that I'm looking at it, it it wouldn't have made sense if I had not put that there. I mean, it was missing the whole anchor. I mean, if you look at my drawing, it wasn't even really there. So, you know, this last moment, this last um, minute change to it, uh, I think really made made a... Uh, a big deal so I'm really glad I did I made I baked everything separately and I you know I um 
I feel like it helps me when I'm thinking about things. It makes me feel safer because I could always make changes, you know? As to the spine, I wanted a really sort of like exaggerated spine. Um, I don't know if this is what I had in mind <laughs> as, as to exaggerated, but I think it worked out great. So I have this very thick uh, piece of cardboard that I wanted to uh, shape into my exaggerated spine. Um, it's not exaggerated as in ginormously big, but super curvy. So, um, because it was so thick, I felt like I had to wet it so that it wouldn't rip. Um, and even then I felt like it ripped a little bit. So that's why I kept on wetting it and shaping it and getting it and shaping it. And I felt like it, um, if I would not have done that, it would have like, um, mm, you know how it would have creased. That's the word I'm looking for. It would have creased like in half and I would not, it would not have come out right. So I wet it and shaped it and then I put two rulers on the end and then I put it here in the bottles because um, I wanted to leave it like sort of overnight but then I also wanted it to stay kind of in that shape. So I used the moisture of the of there and I heated it up and it made sure that it stayed like that and it worked out great. When I came down to gluing it, it was simpler than I, I originally anticipated. Um, what I did is I just glued um, the spine one piece at a time and then I would let it dry and then come back and glue the other side just because I didn't want it to lose the spot where I needed it to be. Because when you open the book, I want it to open not, not completely flat, but I did want it to open as much as possible. So what I, I mean, if it, if the, the spine wouldn't have been so curvy, it would have laid flat, but because it was curved, it wasn't laying flat. But, um, if that has to be part of how I glue the, glue the spine and the, and the covers together. So I'd make sure that it happened at all times. So I make sure, um, I put it how I need it and, you know, kind of like you, you need to make sure that it, it, it does um, go to where you want it to go before you let it dry complete, completely. Once I was dried, I went back with this. I don't know what it's called uh, just because I don't sew. But I took it off the inside of a jacket that I had. <clears throat> My vision for this was, you know how some of the books that I see on like Pinterest and stuff like that, and they're old and they're um, velvet, and but they have like little metal corners and stuff like that. I always see, feel, or looks like it, the velvet part it has a little bit of like cushioning to it. I don't know. I, 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 it might be in my head. It might be like something I'm like imagining, but it feels to me that it has a little bit of cushioning. <laughs> so I wanted to put that in my book. So I remembered I had this thin fluff at first I was thinking of using foamy but um it, it wasn't gonna be fluffy you know I don't know like a pillowy I don't know so I grabbed this and I didn't even know how much fluff it would give it and at the end of the day I don't think you really can see it on screen I mean I can see it when I'm looking at it but on screen I don't know if you can really pick it up anyways um I glue it down and then um what I did is I added a second layer to the front because I wanted it extra fluffified, of course. Okay, so as you guys saw before in the thumbnail picture, I used a blue velvet to cover the uh, book. I figured since it was nautical and a little, and you know Spain and the map in the uh, that I want to do in the inside cover has a little bit of blue, so I figured that was the best. I mean. Red, I think, would work just as good, but you guys know I don't really do much of a red. I'm not a much of a red girl, so <clears throat> blue worked great for me. So I don't want to bore you guys with a long video of um, covering a book because I think you guys already know this. Um, I feel like my videos are too long, and you know I feel like maybe the algorithm and I like it, so um, that's why I'm kind of speeding through it I mean a lot of it is very basic you know covering and wrapping a book and making a book so I feel like I don't want to bore you one and two I feel like my algorithm doesn't like it 
but if you guys like long videos let me know um let me know in the comments because um i feel like with all these tiktoks going really fast and um stuff like that that's why now youtube wants you to make shorter videos too um so let me know if you what do you guys prefer long videos or short videos because i know i know i pack a lot of my videos with a lot of information and i speed through it and sometimes i feel like a lot of people don't appreciate that but at the same time i don't know if i don't i don't want to bore you you know so let me know down below okay so this is the roll that it this is the original color then i coffee stained it coffee stained it coffee stained it and then coffee stained it some more <clears throat> but then we run into our first issues right this book is as beautiful as I try to make it, it came, it came with so many issues. First issue. On this side, as you can see, I put a second a second coat of cardboard so that it would make up for the, the thickness of the material. And that way it came out nice. I totally forgot to do that here. So you see the mess and the sloppiness that this is. Now that's fine. Now, second problem is that I put double padding on my first cover, which would be this one. But if I open it, <laughs> it's backwards. And uh, so frustrated. So I may have enough to, I don't know, to do it again. <coughs> but I'm not too sure. Okay, my decision is this. I know that this should be the front and this is the fluffy part. But I'm just going to leave it for the back. I, If I remember correctly, I did put some in the back, just not as much. Okay, so I decided to make a spine piece, two of them. Um, I first started with this design. That's kind of like step case, steps. Uh, from I, I got like little design aspects from the actual corners on the book but um it, i couldn't stop seeing it, it too asianly see like when i do two like multi-level it looked a little asian to me so i started making more curves um and that's when i kind of really liked it so i'm going to do my base <clears throat> and then i have one two pieces here there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my circle i made them longer just so that i'm gonna glue this little part right here and then when it comes to putting my circle then i mark where i want it to go and then i'm gonna cut it there i'm also going to do the the blue like ribbon not ribbon um wire like plastic wire around here and then do the whole dipping thing i don't know if i'm gonna put anything in here as of like medallion or anything but oh maybe i could put a wax like stamp if i have something appropriate um if not i'm just gonna leave it blank for the spine and binding system that i'm going for i decided to use this file folders like little metal strip that comes it um embedded in them so you can hang them on the <clears throat> on the cabinet um what it is, it's kind of very simple. You know, I just cut little slits on it, put it through, and then curved it to the curve of the of the spine. And then I glued those decorations that I made for my spine on top of that. I think it looks great. It worked out great, and it hides, like, you know, my whole binding system. <clears throat> I used super glue to glue, glue everything down because I wanted it to be a little bit... Okay, this is my idea come with me join me in my brain um this glue crazy glue is a little bit watery right so i felt it was going to seep through the velvet and see if i put enough it would even seep through the cushioning thing so that it would glue straight to the cardboard and it would therefore make that indentation that i wanted to on the um, on the what's it called on the velvet you know like that cushioning that i wanted it to bring out now looking at it in the future future diana here it semi worked all right on some areas not on all areas now in the middle i did 
I was going to do silicone it, but then I decided to do crazy glue. And I think that was better because I did want it, you know, I did want it to go through that uh, seeping through. I was just scared that I was putting too much and then it was going to be like coming all over the place because in my eyes, velvet is non-forgiving when it comes to glue cutting or anything. I mean, you guys saw my cover. I cut it all kinds of crazy and I thought I was cutting it straight. <laughs> You know me, I don't even use rulers, and this thing was crazy, because I even used rulers. You see what I mean? Anyways, um, so I kept on putting a little bit of glue, but it kept on seeping out. But see how if you push it in, it does kind of, like, bring that cushioning out, and that's kind of what I was going for. Okay, once I have them all glued down, <clears throat> I put something heavy here in the middle, because that corner would, wouldn't go down, like, wouldn't behave, you know? So I put the ruler on top of it to see if that worked for a little bit. So, <clears throat> but for the centerpiece, I felt that since I couldn't make sure that it was glued all the way to the cardboard, like, you know, the corners, because I can press them down with pins. What I did is I cut into the velvet so that make sure that the glue was all the way to the cardboard and not just hanging from the velvet because if you know when you stand it up on your bookshelf I felt like it was going to pull it down and then it was going to create like a drag and I was trying to avoid that and I plus you know I wanted to make sure that it's secure properly because it's kind of a little bit of heavy okay so here are the designs that I made for uh, my book I these will be available today for my patrons to download and uh, use on their books. Uh, these pages are a little bigger than 8 by 10 so they're a little bit cropped on the Patreon page, but uh, yes, so these will be there, so available for you guys to download. Also, um, I decided I, the way I want to bind it, um, it was something, I was missing something on that system. So I decided to make these, I don't know if I would call them anchors, but that's the only word that comes in my head um, because it kind of anchors the piece of leather that I'm going to use it on. So I feel that that's like the most closest name as to how I feel its purpose, you know. So I'm using silicone, <coughs> excuse me, black silicone and uh, hot, is it hot silicone? Yeah, hot, black hot silicone. <laughs> And I'm just pretty much putting the, the little screwdriver tip on it just to give it that shape of um, being screwed in. Um, so this is the way I was thinking. I'm going to tie, make signature bundles out of the papers that I just did made. And inside of them, it has more, you know, different paper, um, different coffee paper. So <clears throat> I didn't want just a strip to sit there. And I, I needed in my head a little anchor, a little something to... Res not resemble it but kind of show that it's holding that paper I don't know so I made these little anchors for that purpose so <clears throat> uh, what I do is I just take them off and just glue it at the tip of the leather okay guys so here it is what do you guys think um this one broke and cracked because when I was uh, letting it dry I don't know somebody came to my desk or something fell on it but I, I had a anyways there was something on here that I when I took it off it cracked but that's what it is I ended up leaving them blank and I think I like how it looks um I love all the detail that this could potentially have like I said, you know, before, if you're a pra patron of uh, this channel, you'll have access to the design. It's it's not much, but um, the, all the corners and designs are there. And this is there. Um, all of this is on that. Um, what I ended up doing here, because I didn't glue this, I didn't put... When you have a thick covering from the front coming into the back, and you want to put your uh, inside cover on you want to put a like a like another layer so when you're gluing doesn't happen this doesn't happen where it steps down here let me turn my light on so 
actually hopefully you can see better but where you step down into it and then um that shows up all this so i should have put another piece of paper but in order to i mean i still wanted to do something here but i feel like this covered it a little bit i put a um quill quill quilts or whatever um i have this one which is what i wanted to use right but look how ginormous it is it like sticks out this much and like if i would have folded it it would have look i even tried you could tell that i tried to fold it and it wasn't working but i really wanted to use this one so what i did is i have this one it was brown and i put a little bit of acrylic and i fuzzied it up hopefully that kind of worked a little bit um i use this piece of leather sort of like a pocket but in that pocket i put a a little bit of ink it's it's empty and it's an old bottle that i bought at the swap meet or a flea market it's very old um somebody dug them up from the ground and used and were selling them so i bought a bunch of them you could tell still see that like there's a lot of watermarks and stuff anyways um then this is the design all the designs were are as we speak on the video on the patreon page if you're a patron you can download all these now <clears throat> this gold piece gold part of it um when you go back you can repaint it gold again so it looks that it has that shimmer look otherwise it'll look kind of like brownish yellowish on on the scan piece if you guys remember uh, we did this little thing with the with the silicone hot glue gun and um i put this half glued so i can tuck in papers under here um this is a crayola um like wax wax uh, stamp but it's not wax it's well it is wax it's a crayola mark pen um crayola crayola <laughs> And this, this is a stamp, like a regular uh, rubber stamp. And I just stamped that on Crayola and it works fine. So I just glued half of it so I can tuck in stuff in there. But <clears throat> what I did is I, since they were a lot bigger and I didn't realize it until I was binding my paper, I have regular coffee dyed paper and this is a lot bigger. I usually, I mean, I, I don't understand why it didn't make sense to me before, but um, I usually do cut them. And this time I didn't, so uh, this is what happens when you don't cut them. So I think that looks cute because um, I don't want just a little strap to be on there and, and and look awkward, you know. I did grab some of that wax that I used on these things, and I waxed some of the corners. I just kind of went like that to the corners, and I feel like it gives it a little bit of more depth into it. On one of them that i didn't do the little thing i used uh another wax wax stamp when i was doing the silicone these i made a bunch of silicone uh stamps let me show you made a bunch of these in black too so not only did i use these like let me see i i did this like i don't know what i would call them like little anchors but i i don't know if you can see i made little dots and then in every dot after i put the dot on the silicone I went with the screwdriver and I just pressed it and so when you let me see there's a black one right here look I don't know if the camera is picking it up so when you put the wax on all of these you'll see the little detail on it I made some see-through ones and some black ones and I made some of these wax seals I, I used them around the book I put one here and then I put another one here and i don't know i made extra to play with them um this is a painted wax seal on the paper but there's plenty of of, of um, area to journal and to write and to you know add on to here when i make my design is with the idea that you are going to stamp and put something here and um i don't know play with it you know um <clears throat> and maybe print a few of them and maybe color them different I don't remember if I scanned them without the paint. I think I didn't. Sorry if I didn't. I'm not sure. Um, I have to remember. If I did um, scan it with that color, sometimes I do that. I put them on the Patreon page so that you can 
color them or paint them however color you want. And then I made a clear one where you can stamp anything and make your own stamp on it. Um, more designs. And see, I made this page. It's kind of like this. With the idea that you can, like, for example, uh, print this one. And in behind of this one, you can print this one. And like every other page, you can print more of a, a, a neutral backing to it. Or something like that um, on every page and that's how it goes see all of them have it I'm gonna put my signature maker signature here um, I just want to put a, a nice piece of leather or something like that um, I'm gonna do that later but so far here we go what do you guys think let me know I know I'm a little late I've been pretty busy at work but um, I don't know, I really had lots of fun. I didn't pressure myself so much on this book like I usually do on others because um, I don't know why I felt like conquistadors um, were a thing for me this year. And also, you can, if you can envision this red inside, I think it would look nice too. I just, I'm anti-red, not anti-red, but I don't like, I'm not a fan of red, so I don't, use so much red but this would look nice in red right here inside um well anyways guys thank you so much for coming by thank you for all your comments and support it really um it really tells me that you guys are appreciative or of the dumbness that sometimes i feel comes out of me <laughs> and i feel like you know i'm not alone like when i see your thumbs up and your comments it makes me feel like um, you know, because I'm making something and it sounds or feels sometimes very like, I don't know, not dumb. I don't want to put it down, but at the same time, it feels like, I don't know. I'm always unhappy in some of my projects. So like on this one, I see, like, I focus a lot in so much of my details, like defects, like this thing bothers me so much and it got worse after I glued it and uh, it just bothers me so much. So I can't, it's just hard for me to focus on the positive when it's like I'm focused on the negative. And when you guys comment and give me thumbs up, it just really makes it all worthwhile, all this, you know, nonsense. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for joining me today in this video. Till next time, guys, stay crafting and I love you guys. Bye.